There are lots of exciting things happening here in Europe, and this year, the focus is very much on electric aircraft. AOPA Live executive producer Warren Morningstar joins us now from Show Center, and Warren, some pretty interesting airplanes down there. Well, guten Tag, Tom, and boy, there sure are, and probably none more exciting than this electric Extra 330 behind me. You know, they say that it will be able to fly a full, unlimited aerobatic program on battery power alone. This is the flying test bed for the large power drivetrain. The large power, 260 kilowatt continuous power, this is something which really requires a strong aircraft. If a company as big as Siemens gets into electric aircraft motors, there must be a future there. Because it is important to distribute electric flying, to bring it to pilots. pilots Pilots like to try, and when they have tried, they know what they can do. Now, this relatively small motor produces about 330 horsepower. And while this extra hasn't flown yet... First thing right now is we need to get in the air. We need to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, there's aerobatic-wise a lot of maneuvers that come up that so far we are unknown of. Uh, and and it's, it's also for us very interesting to find out where this will go, where aerobatics will go with such a power plant. But they uh, say it could be a serious contender in unlimited aerobatic competition. It is meant for the five minute uh, unlimited program at full power, uh, packed into a 20 minute flight, which allows you to climb out, to go in a holding, wait until the box is free, go into the box, do the five minutes, thereafter go back for landing. Siemens has already flown a smaller motor in the Magnus E-Fusion. They're planning on starting serial production of this aircraft soon. We were looking for uh, upset recovery training. Uh, this uh, is a main target actually for uh, Magnus aircraft. But Siemens says the real future of electric aircraft is hybrid power. And that's a project they're working on with the Slovenian manufacturer Pipistrel. They've paired a 200 kilowatt electric motor with a Rotax engine driving a generator. The generator itself only, only gives you 84 horsepower, which is not enough to, for takeoff and climb of a four seat aircraft. So during takeoff and climb, you would boost, uh, you would also take power from the battery. And then during uh, cruise flight, you only take power from the generator which will then be able to run at fairly high power, so where it's most efficient. And um, in case you, you consume less power than your generator can provide, then the batteries are recharged. And while this hybrid configuration is intended just for ground-based testing, they think a similar setup in the highly efficient four-seat Pantera could cruise at close to 180 knots at about six gallons an hour. And I can tell you, I love flying these electric aircrafts. They really fly nicely. And Tom, I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. I think it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun.